trying out this cold brew here. First time we're using it now. So what we're going to do is we have some good coffee right here that I ground with my new coffee grinder. Can you do it around real quick just to kind of show how? And so you just hold it right like this and grind like that. And I have it set on a seven. Well, I did have it set on a seven right like that, grinding it on seven. So it's kind of coarse for the cold brew. Now I'm going to just take, this is new, so I'm just getting used to it. Now I want to take this off. Is this your first time to do this? Yes, this is my first time to use this. So right like that, you can see it's coarsely ground. And I like this too, this is my new, um, my new uh, precision ground um, coffee grinder. So I like it because it has 15 different settings. You can even go between each number. So it's one, one and a half, two, two and a half. And I really like it. It's first time using it. And this isn't for espresso beans, right? This is for like regular. It is for, in fact, it's for anything. So what I find out is that like when Jill makes her espresso, she would use like a one or a one and a half, maybe a two. But then for this cold brew or the French press, then it would be more towards the seven and the eight. But I'm learning. But it's good. It's easy. It's easy. And what are you doing now? So with right, this stuff? right now, I'm gonna. I have this. This cold brew comes in with a little basket, and I'm gonna put 25 grams of coffee. 25 grams. So figure it out that each of these on this coffee grinder is 10 grams. So I need to do one, two, and then another half. But what I like about this, what I've been reading about this cold brew, is no heat is applied. So we just get the good properties of the coffee with this. And so we're going to put the coffee in here and then put the water in. And it's going to go in the refrigerator for 12 to 24 hours. No right or wrong. Just whatever, whatever you know, a person likes. If you like the, I like the good, rich coffee, so I'm probably going to want the 24 hour. So we're going to get this made so we can taste it this weekend. So you just dump this in there or yeah, gonna, place it in there? Yes, I'm going to dump this. Oh, you, okay, so you do dump it. Right I thought, I thought like, you placed it in there and then it stayed in place. So that. it's literally just There's a pile. the coffee. Yep. Okay. Put All that right. in there. And then I'm going to put this back on and grind some more. Why is that? And because I need more. Oh. More in there. Because it's more. these are more like concentrated shots. But this cold brew, it is... Um, I believe it's like 16 two ounce shots. So you can do like pour two ounces and then you can pour water or you can pour milk, fix it how you want and put your sweetener in it. Honey or sugar, whatever kind of sweetener you want. And so now I'm going to tie, put that back If on. you just kind of, I guess just to wrap it up, just to like, what, what will you do after you finish these beans? What would be the next step for all the coffee you're putting in there. Okay, then I'm going to add one liter of water okay. in here. So after this is going to go in, I'm going to put 25 grams of coffee in here. I still have to grind another whole container and a half in here. And then um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, double uh, pure, double filtered water. So our then, water is double filtered since it comes through the sink. It's filtered and then in our through our refrigerator. So I like that. It's just Good, good, good water, but filtered once will be good. If you so after you put the water in, then you're putting in the refrigerator, and then you're drinking it in 12, 24 hours. Yes, yes. And then just one more thing. Yes. So, how many of these canisters of beans are you grinding? Two each time you do um, this. Two and a half. Okay, so two and a half. Two and a half yes. of those each time you do it, and then that, and then that's going to be enough coffee to last you how long? It's going to be sixteen servings. Sixteen servings. So sixteen servings. So it can last you a week then. Yes, easily. And then, and then what, two and I, a half what I like though, uh, that the actual container, the actual coffee, will last two weeks in your refrigerator. So it, of course with us, we're going to drink it before then. But it will last up to two weeks, so I think that's pretty good that you can make uh, a cold brew coffee, have it in your refrigerator, and then what's neat too is when you get it made, this handy thing just sits right here can sit right here in your refrigerator. So this then, is really kind of like, if you don't want to make coffee every day, Yes. if you want to make it like once a week, <laughs> so and then just, you're set. This is gonna be awesome. And then, when all is said and done, that's set, and I think we'll, you, we'll probably do this every week. Then, here is the little, here's the little knob right here. You can get your two ounce shot, right like that. 
get your two ounce shot and fix it how you want it. Cool. So, All right. I'm excited. I think that's enough for everybody uh, to figure out what to do with it now. So there it is, KitchenAid cold brew coffee maker. Two, 14 servings. However much that lasts you, but I would think a week or so, even 14, if you had 14 <laughs> for one person. Um, yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, if you had two a day, <laughs> then that lasts you a week. Yes. Two people that would last one a day. I mean, for each person. Yes. Cool. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.